Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial in this programming in Java series. In this tutorial we will be dealing with a program that takes a number as input from the user and then separates the number into its constituent digits and prints them one at a time. So for this tutorial we are going to take a 5 digit number as the input. So if we are assuming the number to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 we will see how the digits can be extracted from this number in this program and then after that we are going to declare an integer array of size 5 so uh, the process of extracting numbers from the program is done using a modulus operation so whenever modulus means getting the remainder from a number by dividing it with another number so in this case if the number is 1 2 3 4 5 when we divide the number with 10 the remainder becomes 5 so whenever you divide a number with 10 the remainder is the last digit of the number See if the number is 1, 2, 3, 4, on dividing it by 10, you will get the remainder as 4. So when the number is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 on dividing it with 10, the modulus that is mod value that is uh, given by the program is 5. And now 5 is stored in the first position of the array. We have already declared an array of size 5. So it has uh, f uh, 5 cells in the, there are 5 cells in the array numbered from 0 to 4. So 5 gets stored in array 0. After that what we are doing we have to extract 4. So to extract 4 we need to perform a mod operation on 1, 2, 3, 4. But we cannot do that as long as it, the value of n remains 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So to convert 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to 1, 2, 3 and 4 what we are doing is we are dividing 1, 2, 3, 4 with 10. So whenever we are dividing 1, 2, 3, 4 with 10, the quotient becomes 1, 2, 3, 4. Again we are dividing 1, 2, 3, 4 with 10 and taking the remainder which is 4. Now 4 is stored in the second position of the array that is 1. Now again from 1, 2, 3, 4 we are converting it to 1, 2, 3 and for that we are dividing it with 10 once again. So now we are getting 1, 2, 3 and on performing the mod operation of 1, 2, 3 with 10 we will get the result as 3 which will be stored in the second uh, that is the third position of the array that is array 2 so this will go on and on until the value of n becomes uh, value of n becomes 0 when the last digit in the number that is n equals to 1 is divided by 10 so when n is divided by 10 the quotient becomes 0 that is the value of n becomes 0 and the loop will terminate so now let us take a look at this program program code that is so here to take input uh, here the entire code is here so in order to take input in java we are using something called scanner class the function of scanner class is to help the user in taking input and uh, to use the scanner class we are importing something called the java.util package java.util package contains many useful classes and one of the classes that it contains is the scanner class so in order to use the scanner class we have to import the java.util package and now we are entering to the 5 digit number and storing it in the variable n and to enter a 5 digit number we are using the command sc.nextint where sc happens to be the object of the scanner class and as we are entering uh, an integer value, value as input we are using the command nextint had we used, uh, had we t accepted some other value as input, say a double value, then we have would have used next double. If we had used, uh, if we had taken input, taken as input a uh, float value, then we had used the command sc dot next float, and so on. So after taking the value as input, we have to extract the digits from the number, and that is being done by using the mod operation followed by the division operation. And so, the first, if the number is one, two, three, four, five the first uh, the last digit of the number is stored in array 0 the next uh, digit of the number is stored in array 1 and so on and after the extraction procedure is completed to print the digits of the number we are running the loop in reverse that is from 4 to 0 because the numbers were stored in the reverse sequence that is the last digit was stored in the first cell of the array and so on and then we are printing the numbers in on the same line separated from each other by using a tab space this hash t slash t is actually a an es escape sequence which represents tab space 
So as we are printing all the numbers on the same line, we are using a tab space so that they are separated from one another. So let me just run this program and see what happens. Let me enter 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So as you can see the numbers have been separated and they are being printed on the same line separated from each other by tab spaces. So I hope you have understood this uh, rather short tutorial. It is a particularly important program because in future you may have to deal with more programs that involve the extraction of digits. So please pay close attention to this program and in case you don't understand anything please leave your doubts or queries in the comment section. So that's it for now. Have a nice day.